Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are actually discussing the NEET paper that has happened on May 16. We are trying to identify the questions, their weightage and how to solve the particular kind of problem. In this particular uh, post, we would like to talk about a question that is given regarding potentiometer. So, you know when someone is talking about a potentiometer, the basic way of poten potential drop across a device, potentiometer is used to identify the potential drop. We can write a formula something like uh, I R. R when the constant current is passing through a given device, R could be written like a rho L divided by A. So when the area of the cross section of a wire is constant and when the specific resistance of the wire is constant and when the current is uh, passing is constant. We can say potential drop is directly proportional to the length of the wire of the length where I am going to get a balance using the potentiometer. Now in the place of the battery he is connecting two cells. There are two cells connected in the device. Once if they are connected in series in supporting with uh, each other that means in the first case they were connected just like this. They were each supporting with each other. Therefore, in the place of the V, we have to write both these EMFs are adding together E1 and E2. Whereas in the second case, one cell is connected in reverse to the other. Therefore, the EMFs are opposite E1 minus E2. In the first case, it is given that they are having some balancing length the second case also it is given that they are having some balancing length. So, basing on the concept that we have learned just now, we can write a formula V1 by V2 equal to L1 by L2. In the first case, because both of them are connected in a series in the same order, EMF is added. In the second case, because they were connected in the reverse, EMF is less. L1 is given like 50, L2 is given like 10 it's nothing but equal to 5 is to 1. Then by cross multiplying you can get E1 plus E2 equal to 5 E1 and minus 5 E2. That implies by rearranging the terms 6 E2 equal to 4 E1. That means E1 by E2 is equal to 6 by 4 that is nothing but equal to 3 is to 2 and hence third one is the answer for this question. Thank you.